Holy crap, these are, these are dangerous batteries. The BMS is charging and it's not measuring the cells. So here we have two mate pack batteries and the customer didn't really know much about them. And I don't know why the locks are missing in both. It's an in-frame battery and you lock it in the frame. Maybe he didn't want the locks, maybe he bypassed them. Yeah, it's for two different bikes, but he said something like, I charged it with the wrong charge to during the winter and battery A will not work. And here we can see they actually changed to a lot better charger from Sans, which are really good. And a little better these, or a little better RCA connections, and ooh, 5 amps. That's pretty fast for a battery of 14 amp hours, yeah? So let, let's just see if it's true that they won't charge. We will check them. 54.4, fine. 54.4, also fine. Chargers are fine. Yeah, and there's a fuse. Oh, one volt. Uh, that must be A. Yeah. Mr. Trouble. Oh, 19.6 volts. So it doesn't look good, mate. Doesn't look good. Uh, let's just see if it starts charging. Nope. And that's a good thing. What? Does it have resting voltage in the charging port? Hopefully that won't start charging. Let's see, we can mess it discharging. I don't know which pins, but probably two and three. No, it's fucking 28 volts. That's not good. Charging a 48 volt battery, that's been just 20 volts. Now I understand why he removed this one, because it's broken, but how can you turn it on? Because this is an on-now switch for the power. Yeah, I don't think he opened it up. Some cracks in the silicone, that's strange. Yeah, you shouldn't do this if you never open a battery before. If it's lipo cells, things can go really wrong. But we had opened many mate bikes and there's no lipo cells in here. And fake Amas Chinese XT90. 60 amps. So let's see if we can. Yes! My cutting skills are amazing. Did not miss anything. Clean it up a little. Why do they have this foam? It's so unnecessary. Oh, it, it's lilac cells. I don't think Panasonic has any lilac cells. It's most likely LG M26, which is a, a very crappy cell. And in 5P, it's 13 amp hours. Yeah, I think I've actually seen this version before. They're lying saying it's Panasonic cells and 14 amp hours when it's LG's crappiest cell and 13 amp hours when new. Why are they lying? Yeah, definitely LG M26. And nothing special, no smart functions, but what is that? Oh, I think it might be a relay for the on off switch, strange. Yeah, but we're gonna be measuring the cells now. 
can we use our cell checker? Yes. We'll have to identify negative, positive. Come on. It's not turning on. Is red not red? Check the other way around. Or it could be completely dead. We got like one volt. And I believe this is dead. But it had like one volt. Oh, I'm not getting anything. Let's try positive and uh, battery negative. This is strange. Uh, it feels like every single cell has popped the vent from overpressure. And the only reason I can think of is that they don't like being charged at five amps. This is battery negative and this is battery positive and there is no fuse. Let's check here. Insert EST. Here we're actually getting 1.5 volt. Maybe that is saved in uh, the, like capacitors or something like that because the battery is dead. But it's only only getting voltage when the battery is actually connected. So there's 1.5 volts somewhere inside this battery. But I believe we have so many popped cells uh, that we have to take them apart and measure. If we measure every one of these individually, we will get Here we actually have 500, 600 millivolts. So, so it has two or three cell groups that might be still alive in here. But what a crappy battery. Yeah? <laughs> and that's a lie. If you have this label, don't trust what it says. We're gonna check the other battery and. Um, So I don't know how you could turn it on. Lock is removed. First try. And this battery he might want back in the condition it's in. So we will just open it up to measure the EST. Yeah, one cell pop and there are fewer cells that can handle 5 amp charging and like 750 discharging, 750 watts that is. And <laughs> then the others go ahead and pop and popping is very common in this cell. Yeah. I've almost never seen that before, but an M26, yeah, it happens very often because over pressure. What voltage do we have? It's fucking 23 volts. He should not be charging this. 3.3. Yeah, we have a goodie. 1.9. That's possible to charge, but not good. 2.5. 1.9. 2.1. 1.5. Here we're getting really low. So if you're gonna charge them up, they might pop, and we don't wanna charge them at five amps. You shouldn't charge cells that are so low on five amps. That's one amp per cell, but 
Well, here we have 08. We will definitely not be charging this battery at all. One volt. Zero point nine. Zero point nine. And um, let's see the charging port is the same as the discharging port, right? And the fuse seems to be for charging. Yeah, the fuse is for charging only. Let's see if it charges with the BMS cable not attached either. Hmm. Which one is this? It's the one in the back. And it fucking charges! The BMS is, is not doing anything! The BMS is not stopping! Holy crap! Th th these, are, these are dangerous batteries. The BMS is charging and it's not measuring the cells. It can go on charging until the cells burn up. Or since there may be genuine algae cells, they will, algae cells, they will pop instead. This is some crappy shit, man. This is some crappy shit. I will tell him the bad news and the good news is that we can fix it. No problem now, but it will cost him like a new battery. But ours will actually work for a few years. Holy cow.